You're watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, how to look years younger without surgery. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He is uh, Southern California's go-to person, go-to plastic surgeon when you want to look natural, great for your age. With us, we have uh, Dr. Grant Stevens. Dr. Stevens, welcome to the program. Thank you, Randy. Thank you for having me. Now, uh, we should mention, and I've wanted you on the show for quite some time. I I've seen you, you know, you've been on just about every news program, right? I mean, you've been on the Dr. Phil show, Dr. Oz. Uh, I mean, I, I could read this list, it goes on and on. You get a lot, a lot of media attention. A lot of attention. For what you're Thank doing you. out there. Thank you. Uh, and I said, you are known for natural results. Is, mm -hmm. that, is, that, is that right? Absolutely. I pride myself in that. You know, it, it's not always about surgery. You know, a lot of things we do are non-surgical. And when we do surgery, we do natural surgery. It's hopefully it's the surgery you don't even know we did. You just look better. But way before surgery, we can do a number of things to restore beauty, restore health and vitality and youthfulness. It's very natural that nobody knows you did. Now, uh, you know, when we talked on the phone, uh, we were trying to come up with some topics, or I was trying to come up with some topics, and you were saying things like, it, nowadays it's like you can do a non-surgical facelift. Mm -hmm. is, is that right? That's correct. When you think about a facelift, you know, as we get older, things get saggy. They come down into the middle. So we're trying to reverse that. And it's not just about tightening. We also want to revolumize the face. Because if you look at a face as it ages, it tends to lose volume in the mid face and drop down here. So by using non-surgical modalities, which we'll talk about, we can actually lift the face, lift the deeper structures of the face, and then restore some of that youthful volume. It's not just about that, though. We can also... Uh, clarify the skin because as we get older we have red marks and brown marks and sun damage and things that give us away that a 20 year old doesn't have on their their skin right so lifting and revolumizing and also clarifying the skin making it uh, uh, the same color uh, I don't mean taking pigment out of it but getting rid of those red marks and broken capillaries and those age spots liver spots and so forth one of the things we said at the top of the show is you can look years younger without surgery. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That's correct. We can do remarkable things without surgery. It's amazing. We can tighten the skin and take years off your skin, your face and neck with Ulthera. This Ulthera is remarkable and we can actually watch it work and we can work at the same levels that we do surgery at. You know, three different levels with the Ulthera. It's fantastic. Now, you have a big celebrity following. Correct. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Some you can mention, some you cannot. But, but the ones that look great in Hollywood, are you convinced that they're all doing something as far as skincare stuff? Oh, I'm totally convinced Like the lasers, the light stuff. Right. And some of them are just doing maintenance. Jennifer Aniston just the other day went on Allure magazine and said she's using all therapy as part of her skin maintenance. She looks great. Maintenance. I have actors and actresses that see me before they go down the red carpet and they have other procedures done. Some of them have no downtime, some of them have a day downtime, and so forth. We have to actually break them down into different components. Uh, some people just have these freshening peels and so forth, and then they're out, and no one knows. Now, you know, we had this discussion on the phone, but you know, I think you said, I'm paraphrasing, but that you could take somebody in their 40s and maybe give it, get a reversal in their appearance as far as aging, and hold them there for years. We can. Elaborate on that. Randy, I have people that today look younger than they did 10, 15 years ago when they started with me, and they've never had surgery. They absolutely, they started 10 or 15 years ago, maybe with some volume, maybe some Botox, IPL, some of the, the very light fractionated lasers. We've cleaned up their skin, we've tightened their skin with various skin tightening modalities, and we look at their pictures today before we're gonna do something. We always get pre-treatment pictures. We look at the pre-treatment pictures today and compare them to the pre-treatment pictures of 10, 15 years ago, and it's startling that they actually look younger today than they did 10 or 15 years ago. And this happens all the time, Randy. The other thing is avoiding the sun, frequent facials, not just buff and puff facials. I mean, medically active, like the hydrofacial where we infuse uh, ingredients into the skin that actually stimulate collagen. The other thing is something like Ulthera and Ultherapy, it's not just about lifting. I'm not sure if you're aware, but this actually turns our cells on to make elastin and to make collagen. Because as we age, we lose collagen and we lose elastin. And so we get saggy and lifeless skin. Here, we can turn on the cell and say, hey, wake up, make some collagen, make some elastin, and it plumps up 
and lifts, and you look younger and better. For people that don't know what you're talking about, as far as old therapy, uh -huh. what is it? How does it work? How is it rebuilding collagen? Great, I, I love it. So old therapy uses ultrasound to gently heat the skin to a specific temperature at three different levels. Four millimeters, three and a half millimeters, and one and a half millimeters. And that may be a little too much science, but the bottom line is we can do this triple play, this triple threat, where we can actually heat the cells to a certain temperature that turns them on. It's like turning on a light switch. And the cells wake so up. So you rebuild more collagen because of the heat? Is, is well, the heat is the s signal to turn the cell on. Uh huh. It doesn't heat the outside, it heats the inside. It's been well worked out, it's been around for years. And years ago, it used to be more uncomfortable. But recently, it's much more comfortable. In fact, I'm going to tell the, your, your fans, you had one just the other day. I did. Yeah. You and were one of the reasons why I did it. Well, you know, and I wanted you to know that it doesn't hurt that much anymore. And you're a wimp like me. Yeah. And I knew if I can tolerate it, you can tolerate it. I was prepared for the worst, by the way. And what did you and find out? I, I would do it again and again and again. You look great. You know, for a 65-year-old guy, Randy. <laughs> No, you look great. You don't have a wrinkle on you. I mean, it's been only a couple of weeks, but you guys say it gets better and better. Why the delayed response? You're saying that just my body's going to build more collagen? Absolutely. Really? Let me tell you, it's not just in your face. There's an FDA approval for the decolletage. You know where the decolletage for is? For women, they're, they're... the chest. Okay. You know, as a woman gets older, this gets kind of thin and crepey. Because they and, wear big tank tops. Yeah, or their bikini tops, or and especially Caucasian women with too much sun exposure. You know the look. They, you know, it's all, all those uh, wrinkles and such. <clears throat> the FDA has recently approved uh, all therapy to treat this area. So what happens? It's not just about lifting. It's about thickening. More collagen, more elastin. It doesn't happen overnight. Like, you look better at two weeks. When I see you two months from now, you're even going to look better. That's scary, isn't it? You believe that? No, I know it's true. Now, let me, I'm going to tell you a couple other things. With the decolletage, it's going to get thicker on a woman and... and uh, plumper, a little more elastic, but tell you something else, the nipples actually lift up. It's a non-surgical breast lifting modality. That's right. You can treat so you do the, the decolletage, whole area? Is that right? you can come across the top, and it'll actually gently lift up the nipples and give a more youthful breast area also. Okay, on, on that, on that, and I've told a few people you're going to come in here. Uh -huh. So that bright red chest, or the striations, or what do you call them, the lines right. that women get Stria, in their 40s, whatever, 50s, wrinkles. Mm -hmm. on their chest. It helps with that, this, this old therapy? Okay, it helps, but that's not the whole answer. I approach it three ways. So to tighten and to lift and to lay down more collagen and elastin, old therapy. But the brown spots and the red spots aren't improved. So there we use IPL, the intense pulse light, and we have two or three lasers that we use there, or IPLs depending on if it's broken capillaries, sun damage, and so forth. So for reds? Reds and browns. Okay. And again, there's not one size fits all. We've got all of them. We've got the halo. We've got the fraxel. We've got the IPL. We have the ellipse. We, we specify, we dial it in to get the best, form, the best form of energy to get rid of the browns and reds. So you got me so far. We've got the old therapy mm -hmm. for collagen and elastin. We've tightened the skin. We've erased the color damage. But we need to thicken it a little bit more, and there we use Sculptra. And we inject Sculptra that even thickens the skin and underneath the skin a little bit more. So we do three things to get rid of that crummy-looking decolletage. Now, when you, and by the way, men and women are doing this. Well, not that, well, men and women are doing all therapy for sure. I can't think of a single guy who's asked me to do his chest. Right. I'm, right. I'm, you know, but, maybe but I mean, there they're are. getting these procedures nowadays. Oh, lots my, which of is lasers. the fastest growing well, part. My male audience is the fastest growing part of my practice, without a doubt. You know, after cool sculpting and cool th uh, uh, the freeze the fat, guys started coming in like crazy, and that's why I built Marina Manland. It's good to hear this from a plastic surgeon, because I've had plastic surgeons on my show. When the cameras are off, they say, you know, Randy, the lasers and all that, I think it's being oversold. It's not there yet. And they only do surgical procedures. What do you say that some of the critics that may say that? Well, a couple things. I say, number one, it's old school. Get your head out of the sand and look at the results. Okay, sorry to be so harsh, but the plastic surgeons who say that lasers don't work or that non-surgicals are passe, they're not looking, they're not opening their eyes because uh, Americans and the whole world is, are embracing non-surgicals at a rate that's way beyond the surgical uh, consumption. So, uh, and they do work. 
Now, they're not all perfect, and they're better today than they were yesterday. And early on, they weren't as good. And so a lot of them turned off on them because early on the results weren't as good. But each year they get better. Uh, we have way more to inject. Our injectable fillers have, they have tripled or quadrupled. Our lasers and light-based technologies are expansive. We can do so many things. And now we can tighten the skin and, and, and add collagen and elastin. And it's scientifically proven, Randy. You'd have to be an idiot not to see this stuff. I'm so sorry. it's that good? It is that good. We literally can turn the hands of time back. It's amazing. Is this the new hot procedure? This Absolutely. old therapy? This old is... therapy is the hottest going, but there's a lot more. I mean, I want to share with you some other things that are coming. This is not the end. This is terrific, but there's a lot of other things. For instance, we now have a wonderful answer to cellulite. I know we're talking about faces, yeah. but how many women are affected by cellulite? They, have, they estimate 85% of women over 15 are affected by cellulite. My joke is, and the other 15% think they have it. And we've tried all kinds of things, lotions and potions and rollers and lasers and everything. But finally, Selfina. Selfina is a brand new approach to getting rid of uh, cellulite. With what is it? E with FDA indication for up to two years. And that's the key thing. Is it a laser? What no, is it? no. There's never been a long-term FDA indication for treatment of cellulite. Never. Even the other ones that we've used before, which have been successful, they've had short-term indications. But the FDA approved the Selfina for one-year indication and is now looking at two-year indication because there's 40-month, almost four-year uh, uh, post-operative photos. Now, what is it? It's a very minimally invasive technique where we literally put a little applicator over the cellulite area and we take some small blades in a very, very organized way and take down those little, those little uh, cords that tether and pull down and makes it look like a mattress. You know how cellulite looks like cottage cheese? Yeah. Well, these little cords that pull down are actually gently removed and taken out by these little blades. It's minimally invasive. It's local anesthesia. It's what are the minutes. results you've seen? You've seen I've seen remarkable results. Results that are long lasting. I've seen two year and three year results with a smooth area. So and women love it. And this is finally one that's not that expensive, minimal to no downtime, and long term success. Uh, women have spent billions of dollars on rollers and polars and, uh, uh, and potions, I mean, to smooth this out. I think finally we have an answer. You got it. Okay. Uh, a woman on a consult, by the way. Okay, mm -hmm. so 38, 45 years old, she's there in front of you, and she says, Dr. Stevens, what do you think I need? Tell me about the evaluation, maybe for the younger patient, for the older patient. Okay. What are you looking at, I should so say? So we don't all age uh, the same, right? And people come in sometimes in their 20s to 30s, sometimes their 30s to 40s. So every decade has unique, their own unique concerns, right? One way we try to do is we objectify it. We put them on something called a Vizia. I, I don't know if you've ever heard of a Vizia, but it's something Not that's really, made no. by Canfield, and it's a wonderful device. We put your face into it, and the camera moves around and takes these beautiful pictures, and then you're judged against your peer group. It's kind of daunting, kind of scary. So if you're 40, it's going to compare your skin to other 40-year-olds. Yeah, thousands of okay. them. Okay. It'll give us numbers. Where do you stack up against your peer group? Sun damage, wrinkles, porphyrins. Uh, red spots and so forth. But the beauty of this, we can tailor design your non-surgical treatments and then bring you back six months later, a year later, jump back in the Vizia, take the same picture, compare you against yourself, non-treated, and against your peer group. Now you should be getting better. In fact, I'm yes. happy to tell you the people get better and they get better against their peer group and also against themselves. And we can, har we can document this with hard data and that's what I'm into. I want to see reproducible results with little or no downtime. People look better and more youthful and then they feel better. Tell me this, I mean, do you believe that if somebody starts young, 28 or, th or 35, 38 years old, and they go in, get some of this minimally invasive stuff, things like uh, the old therapy that makes you rebuild collagen, mm -hmm. goes deep into the muscles, that you could offset a facelift? or We are already. We are postponing facelifts right now. We, this is not really? Star Wars. We're there now. We are already pushing facelifts back. That's not to say we're not doing facelifts. I'm doing two or three facelifts every week. Facelifts are wonderful. And when you need it, and that's your best procedure, then you should have it. But what we're doing is we're 
restoring youth and pushing off that facelift. And I do believe one day in my lifetime, we won't be doing nearly as many facelifts. I think a facelift could actually be replaced in my lifetime. I mean, are you ever surprised with the results? I am. I've seen results in which the neck is youth uh, uh, rejuvenated, if you will, and the jowls and stuff that looks almost as good as a facelift. Now, I just want to be clear, facelifts are still better at this point in time. But what I like to see are these 40-year-olds coming in and they're beating back the eventual changes with aging. And that's, I want to be around and see them when they're 60. And I think people probably can stay at that 40 if they come in for their facials and they keep getting their injectables and the various things we're talking about. I have every reason to believe that when they're 60, they're going to look as good as they look when they're 40. So if I go see you, right? Uh Uh-huh. And you know my age. How long could you keep me looking this age? In your opinion, if I follow your advice at home care. With good diet and not being around tobacco products and hydration and all the lifestyle things, I think you could stay like this for life. Six, really? Yeah. 80 years old? Maybe not to 80. But 70s? You, 70s, 60s, 70s. Because I have examples of it, Randy. Now, obviously, you have to pick your parents well. <clears throat> Got it? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not all about you. So the genetics matter. Uh, your lifestyle matters, and what we do matters. So when should somebody go in and do this, by the way, to, to stay ahead of this? Uh, well, aging? I encourage people to start this in their 20s and 30s if they're into it, if it's something they want to do. If they want to preserve their attractiveness and their youthfulness, uh, then they should start in their 20s and 30s. But most people start in their 30s and 40s. Fillers. Yes. Uh, does everybody get fillers? And well, can people be overfilled? Because oh, I've seen yes. people on TV and it's like, yeah, you know how the pendulum swings. and Everybody knows about the duck lips and all. And, and frankly, there are too many fillers being put in some people's face. You know, you go to Rodeo Drive and go around Newport Beach and Beverly Hills. There are areas of people that they look like pumpkin. When you see bad, you know you're looking at bad. But when you see great, you don't know necessarily what you're looking at. And we have so many more fillers out now, ones that are thin that we can put in thin wrinkles around the mouth or the eyes, some that are medium that we can put in the nasolabial folds, and some that are thicker we can put in the cheeks, build up cheekbones, the hollows here, the jawline. We have a lot of different fillers that are available. And at Marina Plastic Surgery and at the Institute in Marina Del Rey, we offer all of the fillers. And we're talking about how to look years younger without surgery, board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Grant Stevens. You have some photos Uh of some of the results from this old therapy treatment. Yes. From the manufacturer. You also have your own photos as well. But these patients have all cleared themselves. Okay, good. Let's take a look. Okay, sure. So I want you to look at her neck. It's probably similar to yours. Look how nice it is. And the old therapy, you can see here, has tightened the neck, gotten rid of the wrinkles. And that's what you can expect. Your neck already looks great, Randy, in just a few weeks. I I mean, two weeks later, I mean, I had, you know, the normal aging. Yeah. Mid-40s. And you look terrific. And how much downtime? More like almost 50. How much downtime did you have? No, there's no downtime. That's my point. So yeah. you went in, got treated, then you're back, you're being a movie star. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, but, and so men are doing this, women are doing this? Look at this guy's neck here, just like yours. I mean, yeah. your neck looks better than yeah, his. Yeah, mine's start. tight now. Yeah, it is. Now, around the eyebrows. Look at her eyes. You know, we've raised her forehead here, raised her eyebrow a little bit, and look at the space here where she puts her eye, eye shadow. Her eye looks more youthful. There's a bigger space right here. But that's here. the part I don't get. Okay, so What's that? so they zapped me, mm-hmm. and I was in and out. I didn't, you know, I'm a guy. I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to the mechanism. But how is it giving a brow lift? It's tightening the skin. It's slaying down collagen and elastin. Up actually, here, is it the movement? Of, I mean, yes, it's yes. It's these vectors. It actually tightens here, and by tightening that skin, it raises your brow just enough to give you more space here. I bet if you took a picture right now of your eyes, you'd see a little more space right here where we tend to age. And we're a woman putting on eye makeup, that's a big deal. We don't want your brows too high. We're not trying to make your brows so high that they look like someone pinched you. We want it to look natural. And on a male, we want it to look flat and so forth. Women, we like to sculpt it a little more rounded. So jowls and mm-hmm. neck. Yes, the dreaded When I mean, that jowls. happens, when you're 40, things start happening. No kidding. That's what this is good for. That's what it's excellent for. And there's vectors in through here to lift up. And some people are actually doing this on a regular basis. Uh, some people are coming in every one to two years to do this in a non-surgical lifting fashion and avoiding the facelift. Are you going to age anymore at I'm this not going to age anymore. No. You're done. No, I'm done aging. No, <laughs> so I'm going to get my old therapy every there. year. So we're not really being sarcastic here. I mean, you believe 
that the technology is here to where you can kind of, when they come in, keep them looking that way. Maybe get or over. set the clock back. As I said earlier in the program, remember, I look at pictures today of people, including myself, and look, the people look younger today than they did 10 or 15 years ago. How can that be? But when I look at a celebrity on TV and they're 50 and they're fabulous, mm -hmm. chances are, they're doing maybe the there's a therapy. good chance they have well, what's your opinion do you think most of them are doing this absolutely i, mean, I know the word they, on the I street is i have first hand knowledge that many of them are so the word on the street is that all therapy works it's like one of those things that it works it does work really but it's not the only thing that works but it's one of the best things out there but there are many other things also if you come into marina plastic surgery or the Institute, we can show you some of the other things. I know this also. is a big topic, right? I mean, I, mean, I mean, you lecture to, I mean, you lecture on this topic. I right? do. It's called non-surgicals or non-surgical rejuvenation. We, I lecture on it all over the country. Do you have plastic surgery friends that are still skeptical? I do. You do? I have some of the hardcore surgeons that say, I just don't want to mess around with fillers or lasers. There's a lot of them. When you hear that and they're in the beauty business, mm -hmm. do you think they don't get it? When they say, I don't want to mess around with lasers. Oh, I think therapy. a lot of things. Sometimes I think they're kind of lazy. They're, they're, they like the fact that they're, what they're doing is, uh, you know, that they're just not lazy. They're lazy about it. Some of them are skeptical. They think it doesn't work. Um, some people consider this the gateway drug, that you start doing the non-surgicals and then you, it kind of morphs into surgery. So I think it's all different thoughts about it. Uh, some people just don't want to be hassled by it. Is that right? So, yeah. But I'm into all things beauty. I mean, we have this concept there at the marina called the icing on the cake. Have you ever heard of that? No. Okay. So on every person in whom I do a facial surgery, like a neck lift or a facelift, I offer them uh, the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake is for the next two to three weeks or however long they're recovering and they're around with me, I will provide them all of these various non-surgical services for free. And I tell them, when you look good, I look good. And so I can put their face and neck and everything back where it needs to be, but what if they've got these brown spots and red spots? It's like I take my suit to the tailor and it's all wrinkled and it's got stains, coffee stains and mustard stains. And I give it to my tailor and he tailors it. It looks fabulous, but he gives it back to me. It's still wrinkled, still got coffee and, and so forth. I don't say thank you. I say, well, what's with the wrinkles and what's with the brown and brown spots, the ketchup and the coffee? So I liken it that way with my facelifts. I do the facelift, I do the neck lift, and I say, let me work on the wrinkles. Let me work on the brown spots and the red spots for free for the next few weeks. So my icing on the cake patients look that much better than the surgery patients alone. So once they do this, I mean, they could come in once a year, a couple times a year mm -hmm. to keep, to maintain this. Yeah. Is that right? Well, some people come in once a year. Some co people come in three times a year. They might come in three times a year for a little neuromodulator like Botox or Desport or Xeomin. There's three competitive ones for the, to stop some of the wrinkles. Uh, they may come in for fillers twice a year. They may come in and get a facial every month or two. That's what I try to encourage them to do, just to get rid of the dead skin, to take off that dead skin off our the lifeless dead skin off the outside and stimulate collagen production. So it really depends. So what about people though that they don't have the laxity, right? They don't need a facelift, but they have really bad sun damage. Yep. Like leather skin. The prune Too ladies. Too far gone? The prune ladies, the raisin, raisin skins, absolutely. We see them all the time. We see the people that grew up at the beach here in Southern California, baby oil, the reflector lights, they trash their skin. Maybe they don't have extra skin, but they look like prunes, right? They're not too far gone we can actually recover a lot of that and rescue them with the proper lasers, proper skin care, we can improve them. I can't give them a baby's bottom again, but I can improve them an awful lot with the various technologies we have. How much better are you today because of all this technology than you were just 10 years ago as far as making people more attractive, more youthful? The last 10 years is day and night. We have changed so much, it's been revolutionary between the contouring and sculpting with cool sculpting and the tightening with all therapy and the other tightening and the various lasers and fractionated lasers and all the new fillers and neuromodulators. What we're doing today is completely different, light years different than 10 years ago. Who is the ideal patient for some of the new technology? 
Well, you know, I love all the patients. You know that, Randy. But my ideal patient would be like that 40 to 50-year-old woman who's got two beautiful kids. She loves them. She's put her whole life into their kids, her kids, and now she wants to look pretty or prettier, but she can't have the surgery. She can't afford the downtime. She's still looking after the family. She comes in and she says, what can you do for me? I don't have the, all the money in the world, and I can't take the downtime for surgery. What can you do to restore my youth and my uh, beauty? And I hook them up to the all therapy and the whole regimen, the skincare regimen we've been talking about, and I love to turn their lives around. Now you go back to that all therapy every time. You, you, I mean, that really, you like that. I love it. Can I show you a po photo? Yeah. Do I have enough one time more. to show Last you? Let one. me show you one more. This is my ideal patient. Look how beautiful she looks. Okay. okay. No surgery, no downtime, has a couple kids. She's 47 years old. Now look at this patient. She's not my patient, but she's just like my patients. Look at the before. Look at the neck, the jowls, and look at the after, how smooth it is. The jowls and are gone. And that's just all therapy? Just all therapy. That's all it is. Lifts and tightens and restores youth. Just like a fresh, like a freshen up. Absolutely. And I wanted to ask you this. I, I, I wrote this down. A lot of fillers, right? Mm -hmm. If you get them early enough, can you avoid fillers if you do this cell therapy? I mean, does it help areas it like this? In this? certain areas, yes, in certain areas. But generally, the fillers are for facial atrophy and so forth. But uh, you, there are certain areas where you're going to lift and restore volume, then you won't need fillers. Okay. But fillers can be used for wrinkles, too. So it's not as painful as everybody thinks it may be. Yeah, that's the old therapy of the past. The old therapy today is not that painful. You've had it done. I didn't think I've it was had that it painful. Done. It's not that big a deal. I mean, it doesn't feel good. But, no. And I thought, because they give you some medications, it felt like 10, 15 minutes, but it, you know, it was like a couple hours. Mm -hmm. So it's really, and I would do, I plan on, I mean, how often should I do this? I think you should do it once every two years. Well, that's it. Every, I want to do it once a year. Well, can you overdo you therapy? Afford it, no, you can't. And there are some movie stars that do it you like know, every once every months? six months. I've heard of you in one, once every four months. I know a dermatologist. She does it. She says every four months. Does she really? Yeah. God, now I think I want to Well, they have a it. machine. They're doing it all the time. Yeah, maybe I should be doing it once every four months. All right, so you can look years younger without surgery. Absolutely. Do you think the future, it'll be very difficult to identify somebody's age? Well, there'll be other telltale signs, maybe certain things about their hair or their hands. We'll talk about rejuvenation of the hands sometime. You know, we have faces that look young, and then if woman goes up to put on lipstick or to lift a glass of wine to her face, and it's, whoa, 60-year-old hand, 40-year-old face. That's a whole other subject. But you could take care of that now, too. You bet we can. <laughs> All right. I want it's to exciting. You to, it's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you very much Thanks for again. having me. You've been watching The Wellness Hour. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez the authority on health issues.